respect to the Lord's dance stuff. I have a friend of mine who owns a uh, motorcycle shop, and he has on his answering machine, he has a message that says, uh, please leave a message at the beat. If you'd like to hear this in any other language other than English, please feel free to move to that country that speaks that language. <laughs> I laugh so much, I was playing it for everybody. Come here and listen to this. You know, we do need to close our borders. We need to provide funding for the border patrols. We need to increase our border patrols. We need to give them the weapons available to really do something effective. They don't need just a set of handcuffs, maybe a billy club. Maybe they need something more effective. But they need to stop these people from coming across our border, and they need the funding to do so. So we need to do that with our immigration policy. It's estimated that there are 13 million illegal immigrants in this nation. The reason we know that is because we know where they are. It, 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 doesn't take, it doesn't take much to figure out that, you know, like we've said up here, common sense dictates if you know who they are, you know where they are, it's easy to go round them up and send them home. Now, it's been said that, you know, we, we need to protect the, the family. Some of these have been here for so long that, you know, they've, they've gotten families. We don't want to really break the families up. And I totally agree with that. Send the entire family home. We want to worry about it. <laughs> The other, the other thing about, uh, about immigration is people think, well, that's only in the southern states. It doesn't affect Indiana. Folks, let me tell you, it does. They come into Chicago, they come down to Terre Haute, they come into Vincennes, and they're taking our jobs from us. We need to penalize those companies that would hire illegal immigrants. And I mean hit them hard. Hit them hard. You are not going to get an American job to someone else that doesn't live here legally. The other thing we need to do is we need to withhold funds from those states that have so-called um, sanctuary cities. Get rid of them. You don't have federal funding until you get rid of your illegals. Thank you very much. Immigration policy protection of our borders. Risky race. Hi, I have a 15-year-old daughter that I cannot let walk across the softball field because the trailer park next to it is full of illegal immigrants. My husband's a reserve officer there. He'll tell you how many times they pick them up and before he gets the paperwork filled out, they're walking out the back door. It's a bunch of baloney. I'm telling you right now, we have got to go one step further. It is time to not only pull up the anchor babies, send that free ride ship back to its own port, but it is time for us to define naturalization as being born between two legal citizens. We need to, we do need to find sanctuary cities. We need to find the heck out of them. They're taking jobs from our American people. There's no sense in it. Not only that, we need to find the sanctuary businesses. We need to find any of those organizations that are keeping the, uh, the illegal immigrants in with jobs. They're affecting the health, they're affecting many of the things in our economy as a drain. They work for less money, so they, they lower the standards of living in our nation. I believe that if we do not build that wall immediately, I just talked to Steve McBrien, he's down there right now working on it. He said, Christy, he said, they just come around. He said, that's the biggest problem, they just come around it. It's a, it's, most of it's a 20 foot cement wall with 10 foot razor on top. Why can we not finish that? We certainly can. If we don't have enough people or enough ability to do it under Homeland Security, then let's move out of the Department of Defense, let's get the National Guard down there, let's get it built, and get these people out of our country. 27% of our federal prisons are illegal immigrants. That amounts to about 346,000 illegals. $88,000 a year to fund one illegal. Look it up on the Federal Bureau of Prisons. This is ridiculous. It's a $40 billion burden on our nation, and it's time to send them back. Yes. Yeah. All right. Immigration policy, protect our borders, Larry Lushan. In the late 1980s, President Ronald Reagan made the decision at the time to grant amnesty to uh, illegal aliens. And at that time, there were, that was one of the few mistakes that I think he made. But at that time, what that showed is that if you do that, that it actually increases the amount of illegal immigrants coming into the United States. So I'm against amnesty for illegal aliens that are here. It's, it's against the law. 
and we should not grant them amnesty. That's the first step. We also need to, of course, as other people have said, secure our borders. My parents go to South Texas down by Brownsville every winter for about six months. In the Brownsville area, 95% of violent crime and 80% of live births at the hospital are from illegal immigrants. The problem is, is we, not only do we not have a good border defense with a strong wall or fence, but we have not given our border guards the ability to police that. A fence alone won't do it. We need to have more border security. We need to quit tying their hands. Their hands are tied, but what happens is they pick people up, they take them back to the border, they drop them off, and the next day they're back in our country again. We don't have enough border agents, we have our hands tied, and we need to free them up. The last thing we have to do is realize that the illegal immigration policy is partially our fault also. Us as a people. We have to penalize companies, we have to penalize businesses, individuals that knowingly hire illegal immigrants. From a humanitarian standpoint, if you're a person, you're in, you're in Mexico and you have a family and you can make more money in the United States, why wouldn't you come? So we need to do all of those things and I think it'll make our country more secure. Thank you. Thank you, Larry.